challenge. This one's a level eight. We're doing it in JavaScript. It's called Century from Year. There's a link to the challenge in the show notes. Try it out before watching the video. The best way to learn JavaScript is to bang your head against the wall. Uh, and you've always got the video to fall back on if it's looking hopeless. Uh, the other great way to learn JavaScript is with repeated practice. So subscribe to the channel and that way you're notified every time I post new content. So let's get started. Uh, the first century spans the year one up to and including the year 100, second century, 101, all the way to 200, so on and so forth. Okay. Uh, so what we need to do is, uh, if the number, uh, if we divide it by a hundred and the remainder is zero, then we need to just return the first two digits of the number. Um, so in JavaScript, if we have an integer, uh, let's say, uh, let in equal 1900. Um, if we want to turn that into a string, it's going to be in uh, to string. Okay, so we get it uh, that way. All right, so what we're gonna do is, first off, uh, if the year mod 100 is equal, triple equal to, I gotta do this inside the parentheses there, triple equal zero, um, then what we're gonna do is just return, I believe we return the year, okay, so we get the first two digits. Um, so what we'll do here, is let's do, uh, let's say const uh, first two digits is gonna be equal to uh, the year to string. We're going to slice it. So we'll take, uh, we'll go at zero. And then I believe we go, we take two. Let's see if that works. Whoops, not this one, not that one. Uh, okay, so uh, let's say year, and then we're gonna go uh, year to string, and then we slice, take the go go up to the second one. Okay, cool. That's gonna give me my two digits. Then we got to turn it back into an integer. So uh, when you have a string like this, if you throw a plus in front of that string, just instantly turns it into uh, another digit again. So there's the code we need and i'll throw that in right there so we got that plus uh at the beginning there um okay so if the <clears throat> if the year uh is perfectly equal to 100 then we're going to return just the first two digits um otherwise let's add one to the digit because it'll be like so this is the 17th century uh, and so on and so forth um so let's test this out Hark, uh, expected 90 to equal one. It was probably, oh, uh, oh, it's okay. Uh, if there's, I've got the edge case here. Uh, if we're in the first century, uh, let's do this. Uh, let's do an edge case here. So if uh, year to string dot length, is less than three, we're just gonna return one. Uh, so we're in the first century if we've got uh, uh, anything two, uh, two or fewer digits. Uh, so let's test that out, got that edge case in there. All right, cool, let's do a submission. Hark, another error. Testing for the year 96, blah, blah, blah. Oh my gosh, okay. Uh, oh, that's a primitive. Okay, what I need to do is chop off uh, everything up to uh, the third last digit. Okay, wow, this is a good one. Uh, okay, so we're gonna let year equal that. Okay, um, what I need to do is, instead of having calling it the first two digits, I need to have, uh, let's do year to string. And so we're gonna start, we'll slice it. We're gonna still take the first digit um, and then we go up to, let's see what that does. Does that chop off? That chops off the last two digits. That's kind of our main goal here. So we're gonna tweak this a little bit. Um, so right here, we're slicing it to up, we're chopping off the last two digits. Uh, and so this needs to, let's just call this, uh, we'll call it C for century. 
Okay, uh, so this should get that edge case in there. Okay, oh, this is a good one. Apparently there's gonna be four more than four digits in a year at some point. 